Hello, Matt here from chemistrystudent.com. In this video, we're going to look at buffer solutions. We're going to talk about what buffer solutions actually are, how they work, and look at an example of an acidic buffer system formed using ethanoic acid and sodium ethanoate. We'll also take a look at the role of hydrogen carbonate ions in controlling blood pH. <laughs> Quite a busy video. Buffer calculations and worked examples have been covered in a separate video. Check the links in the description below. Before we talk in detail about buffer solutions, there are a few essential ideas you need to be comfortable with. According to the bronsted larry definition, acids are proton, H plus ion, donors, and bases are proton, H plus ion, acceptors. When added to water, acids dissociate and split apart into H plus ions and their conjugate base. Strong acids fully dissociate when added to water. Weak acids partially dissociate when added to water, forming a solution that contains a mixture of molecules of acid, H plus ions, and conjugate base ions. A dynamic equilibrium refers to a reversible reaction in a closed system in which the rates of the forward and reverse reactions are the same. This means at equilibrium, there is a mixture that contains both reactants and products and their concentrations remain constant as long as the system remains at equilibrium. A position of equilibrium refers to how the concentrations of reactants and products in the mixture compare to each other. A position that lies to the right means a higher concentration of products in the equilibrium mixture compared to reactants, and a position that lies to the left means a higher concentration of reactants in the equilibrium mixture compared to products for the forward reaction. Le Chatelier's principle tells us that a position of equilibrium will move to oppose a change made to the system. For example, for A and B in equilibrium with products C and D, if the concentration of C or D is decreased, the position of equilibrium will shift to the right and favor the forward reaction, producing more C and D. pH is a scale used to represent the concentration of H plus ions in a solution and can be represented in two ways pH equals minus log to the base 10 concentration of H plus ions and concentration of H plus ions equals 10 to the power minus pH. Recap done, let's go. Buffer solutions are mixtures that resist a change in pH when small amounts of acid or base are added to them. Buffer solutions can be based on a weak acid, an acidic buffer, or a weak base, a basic buffer. In this video, we'll focus on the more common type of acidic buffers. An acidic buffer solution is made up of a weak acid and its conjugate base. When dissolved in water, weak acids form an equilibrium system between molecules of the acid, HA, H plus ions, and conjugate base ions, A minus. For example, ethanoic acid in water gives a mixture of ethanoic acid molecules, CH3COOH, H plus ions and ethanoate ions, CH3COO minus. The concentration of H plus and A minus ions in the equilibrium mixture will be much smaller than the concentration of HA molecules, as only partial dissociation of the acid occurs. Le Chatelier's principle tells us that once this equilibrium gets established, if H plus ion concentration is changed, then the position of equilibrium will move to oppose this change. For example, if extra H plus ions were added, it would shift to the left, favoring the reverse reaction of A minus combining with H plus to try and decrease the H plus ion concentration back down again. The problem is that in the initial equilibrium mixture, the A- concentration is actually the same as the H plus ion concentration. This means the position of equilibrium is equally sensitive to changes in A- and H plus ion concentration. If the position of equilibrium shifts and H plus combines with A- to form more HA, the concentration of A- would start to decrease as well, and the position of equilibrium would have to shift back again to counter this decrease in A-, effectively increasing the H plus ion concentration back up again. 
As a result, any changes in H plus ion concentration can't really be opposed by the position of equilibrium shifting. And this means the pH of the solution changes significantly if H plus ions are added or removed from it. In an acidic buffer solution, however, the A- concentration in the equilibrium mixture is much, much higher than the H plus ion concentration. And, as a result, changes to A- concentration have a much smaller impact on the position of equilibrium than changes to H plus ion concentration. The position of equilibrium is sensitive to changes in concentration of H plus ions and isn't really affected very much by changes in HA and A- concentration. Now, if H plus ions are added to the solution, the position of equilibrium can move to oppose the change and try and get the H plus ion concentration back to what it was before the extra H plus ions were added. It does this by shifting to the left. More H plus ions and conjugate base ions combine to form weak acid molecules. The fact the A- and HA concentrations change as a result of this doesn't matter very much, as compared to their initial concentrations, their change is very small. By keeping H plus ion concentration nearly constant, the solution is minimizing or resisting a change to its pH, as pH is based on H plus ion concentration. We describe solutions that can do this as buffers. To make an acidic buffer solution, we need to mix molecules of a weak acid and ions of its conjugate base. We can do this in two ways. First off, you can mix a weak acid with a soluble salt of the acid. A common example used at this level is ethanoic acid and its salt, sodium ethanoate. When sodium ethanoate is added to water, it dissolves completely, splitting apart into sodium and ethanoate ions. Ethanoate ions are the conjugate base of ethanoic acid. If a solution of ethanoic acid is mixed with a solution of sodium ethanoate then, the solution formed will contain a mixture of ethanoic acid molecules and ethanoate ions. Again, a mixture of a weak acid and its conjugate base ions. Another, and I think easier method, is to add a small amount of strong base to an excess of weak acid. For example, if you take 1 moles worth of ethanoic acid and mix it with 0.5 moles of sodium hydroxide, 0.5 moles of ethanoic acid will react with sodium hydroxide and form 0.5 moles of sodium ethanoate. As the acid was in excess, there will be molecules of acid left over and the solution formed will contain 0.5 moles of weak acid and 0.5 moles of sodium ethanoate a mixture of a weak acid and its conjugate base. In the mixture formed, only a tiny amount of the weak acid will dissociate, meaning the mixture will contain lots of ethanoic acid molecules, lots of conjugate base ions, and a very small concentration of H plus ions. As we mentioned earlier, an equilibrium will be established between the three, and as there are way more acid molecules and conjugate base ions compared to H plus ions, the position of this equilibrium is sensitive to changes in H plus ion concentration. Small changes in weak acid and conjugate base ion concentration have only a small effect on the position of equilibrium. As a result, if H plus ions are added to the buffer system, the position of equilibrium will shift to the left to try and remove these extra H plus ions and return the concentration of H plus ions close to what it was before the extra H plus ions were added. Conjugate base ions will combine with the added H plus ions and form weak acid molecules. As the acid and conjugate base concentration does still change, technically a new equilibrium position is established that isn't exactly the same as before, given a slightly different H plus ion concentration, and a slight change in pH occurs, but the change is much less than you would expect for however many H plus ions were added. The change in pH has been minimized, but it can't be eliminated. There is another way the pH of a solution can be changed by the addition of hydroxide ions, by using a strong base. 
When hydroxide ions are added to an acidic solution, they cause a decrease in H plus ion concentration and increase the pH of the solution. If hydroxide ions are added to an acidic buffer solution, the hydroxide ions will react with the H plus ions present and form water, causing the H plus ion concentration to decrease. As a result, the position of the weak acid equilibrium shifts to the right to replace the H plus ions that have reacted with hydroxide ions. This means rather than the pH increase as expected, it stays roughly the same. More acid molecules will dissociate and the concentration of weak acid will decrease and the concentration of conjugate base ions will increase. Their changes will be proportional to each other and, just like if H plus ions are added to a buffer, technically a new equilibrium position is established that isn't exactly the same as before, meaning a slight change in pH occurs, but the change is much less than you would expect for however many hydroxide ions were added. Buffer solutions can be very useful and are found in a whole range of situations, most notably in nature and biology. In biological systems, biological catalysts called enzymes are vital for pretty much all processes essential for life, and they have an optimum pH at which to function. If the pH of its environment changes too much, an enzyme can denature and no longer work effectively. To help avoid this happening, most organisms have some form of buffer system inside them to try and keep the pH constant and stop any enzymes from denaturing. For example, in us humans, there is a buffer system in our blood made up of carbonic acid, H2CO3, and hydrogen carbonate ions, HCO3-. The hydrogen carbonate ions are the conjugate base of the carbonic acid. If H plus ion concentration increases in the blood, the equilibrium position between the carbonic acid and hydrogen carbonate ions shifts to the left and the extra H plus ions are removed from the blood. This minimizes any decrease in pH as the H plus ion concentration is kept nearly constant. Equally, if H plus ion concentration decreases in the blood, the equilibrium position between the carbonic acid and hydrogen carbonate ions shifts to the right, increasing the H plus ion concentration. This minimizes any increase in pH. So, to summarize, buffer solutions are mixtures that resist a change in pH when small amounts of acid or base are added to them. Acidic buffer solutions are made up of a weak acid and its conjugate base. The conjugate base can be added to a solution of weak acid in the form of a soluble salt that contains the conjugate base ions, or can be formed by the addition of a strong base to an excess of weak acid. In an acidic buffer solution, there is an equilibrium established between molecules of the weak acid, H plus ions, and conjugate base ions. Acid molecules and conjugate base ions are present in much larger concentrations than H plus ions. This ensures the position of equilibrium is sensitive to changes in H plus ion concentration. Any change to acid or conjugate base concentration has little effect on the position of equilibrium, but any change to H plus ion concentration has a large effect, meaning the position of equilibrium will shift if H plus ion concentration is changed. If H plus ions are added to the buffer solution, the position of equilibrium shifts to the left, meaning the extra H plus ions added combine with conjugate base ions and form weak acid molecules. As a result, the final H plus ion concentration will end up similar to the initial H plus ion concentration, minimizing a change in pH. If hydroxide ions are added, they combine with H plus ions in the solution and form water molecules. This causes the H plus ion concentration in the solution to decrease. As a result, the position of equilibrium in the system will shift to the right, causing more acid molecules to dissociate and replace the H plus ions that have reacted with the hydroxide ions. This keeps the H plus ion concentration similar to the initial concentration before hydroxide ions were added, minimizing a change in pH. 
Although changes to acid and conjugate base ion concentration has a smaller impact on the position of equilibrium compared to H plus ion concentration change, any change to their concentrations does still change the position of equilibrium slightly, meaning a slight pH change does still occur when small amounts of acid or base are added. It's just the change is much smaller than if there was no buffer system. Buffer solutions are important in biology to help keep pH at optimum levels for enzyme activity. In blood, there is a buffer solution formed between carbonic acid and hydrogen carbonate ions that helps keep blood pH nearly constant. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out other relevant videos in the links given in the description below and visit chemistrystudent.com for free notes and revision materials.